Hello there. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play and I'm Rachel. Okay, so let's make a banana uh, pudding. How about that? A banana pudding. An old fashioned banana pudding. Okay, thumbs up, share the video, subscribe. Thank you. Let's do it. Okay, so uh, I already separated five egg whites from the five egg yolks. Okay, here's the whites and here's the yolks. I saved one last egg to show you. So you're just going to crack the egg. Make sure you crack it all the way. See? Now when you separate it, you're going to have the egg whites to fall, fall into one bowl and then you're going to put the egg yolk into another bowl. So when you separate the shell into two pieces, you're going to slowly pour the yolk into one side and the other side. What you're trying to do is get the yolk, the whites to drop down in this bowl and then you're going to put the yolk in there. Okay, so let's do it. And hopefully the whole thing don't fall in. That's the tricky part. Okay, so you can see how it, the whites is dripping down, right? Okay, and before it goes all the way down, you want to catch it and let it fall into this other shell. Okay, there it go. It fell in. So now all I have left is the egg yolk. Okay? I'm going to put this in the bowl with the egg yolks. You're going to save the egg whites. That's going to be for your meringue that's going to go on the top. I'm going to put that over here so I don't knock it over or nothing. And here's the pan. I have some water on the stove here in this big pot. And so I'm going to put this on top so it works like a double boiler, okay? All right, so you're going to add one can of evaporated milk. And this is 12 fluid ounces. Let me rinse that off. Okay, and I have some sugar substitute here. If you're going to use regular sugar, you want to use two cups. I'm going to use a cup and a half of sugar substitute. Okay, it's a sugar sweetener, it says. All right. So I'm going to add my cup and a half of sugar substitute. Then we're going to add some vanilla. Whether you have 100% uh, vanilla or imitation, okay? I'm using imitation vanilla. One tablespoon, two tablespoons of vanilla. Okay, now I have some all-purpose flour, all-purpose flour. I'm going to add one level tablespoon, two level tablespoons, 
three level tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Okay. Now we're going to mix this all together. And I need some salt. I need some salt. Okay, I'm going to use salt substitute, but you can use regular salt. Okay, I need a teaspoon of salt. So I'm using a teaspoon of salt substitute. One teaspoon of salt substitute. Or in your case, if you're using regular salt, one teaspoon of regular salt. Okay, so now that I have the canned milk, the vanilla, the salt, uh, and the flour in here, we're going to add the egg yolks. Okay, so that's my six egg yolks. Okay, so this is how you actually make a vanilla pudding, okay? You know, like the pudding that you buy in a package that you eat as a snack. This is how you make it from scratch, okay? And if you wanted to make chocolate pudding, you'd do the same thing, except you'd add uh, melted chocolate, okay? Okay, now I'm going to put this over into the water, using this part here as just the water, and this at like a double boiler, okay? Because if you try to cook the pudding straight on the uh, fire, without it sitting in the water, uh, it could burn. Okay, so while that's cooking, We're going to make our, put our cookies and bananas together, okay? So this is a box of vanilla wafers. So you're going to put the vanilla wafers in the bottom of the pan. I'm going to arrange it and show you. And it doesn't have to be perfect as long as they're in the bottom. Like so, okay. And don't forget to stir your pudding occasionally because it'll start getting thick.
Okay, I have about six pounds of bananas. I have another bunch, okay? You may not need it all, but I got it just in case. So you want to let the bananas get ripe like this. Okay, you don't want to use bananas that are green for pudding because then it's hard. You want the bananas soft, okay? So you want them to look ripe. Not 100% right, but I would say 80% right, okay? And I want to make sure you can see, so let me see. I think I'll switch this to the back so you can see. Okay, so I want to just show you this. I'm going to cut up about three more bananas on here, and then I'll show you that, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my first layer here. I have the layer of wafers on the bottom, about three or four bananas on the top, depending on how big your bananas are, okay? Now we're going to put another layer here. And the cookies don't have to be perfect, okay? Now I'm going to put some more bananas on top of this second layer of cookies, okay? I have been stirring my pudding constantly. If your pudding gets too thick, you can put uh, maybe um, five or six or eight tablespoons of hot, hot water and that will thin it back out. Okay, so I'm going to cut the pudding off. It's pretty thick now and I'll show you that. Okay, so now I'm going to cut up some more bananas on the top. If you get a part of the bananas that's too, too ripe, just cut that part off. Okay, I'm not going to put that in. Okay? You want it to look like this. Okay, I got to get a couple more bananas. The right part I'm not going to use. The one that's really, really ripe. See how I'm just cutting this off? Okay, I'm going to use that part.
Okay, I'm going to do one more banana. So I think I used maybe, maybe six to eight bananas total. Okay. Okay, now I want to finish the top off with some more wafers. Okay, now, okay, so my pudding has gotten thick from just sitting there. So let me show you what I'm talking about with the hot water. Okay, so I have hot water here. One tablespoon, two tablespoons, three tablespoons, four tablespoons, five tablespoons, six tablespoons. Let's see how that works. Because you want it not thick enough that it won't spread. You want it to drop down throughout the whole banana pudding. I want to pin that out a little more. So. 7 tablespoons, 8 tablespoons, 9 tablespoons, 10 tablespoons, 11 tablespoons, 12. 12 tablespoons of water, hot water. That's better. Let me show you the texture we want. See? Okay, see how it's running? You want it like that. Okay, so now I'm going to just pour it over the wafers and the pudding and the bananas. Now I'm going to stop, I'm going to take my tablespoon and I'm just going to poke holes in it so that the pudding drops down in here and there. See what I'm doing? And fill in on the spots that you have no pudding to cover it all.
same thing over here. Until you have all the cookies covered and the pudding is all down on the side and everywhere. See how I'm pouring it down on the side? I'm just going to smooth it over to make it look nice. Okay, that's what we look like. We're looking like. Now we're going to make our meringue. Okay? I have to get my mixer. One second. Okay, now we're going to make a meringue with the egg whites. So I'm going to put my six egg whites in a bowl. And you're going to use a mixer and you're going to mix it on high or whip. Okay? So let's start off. So the, the mixer is a little noisy. <laughs> bubbles there. When you make a meringue, that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to put air in the egg whites and that's what you see that causes the bubbles. in the meringue. So I have a heaping tablespoon of sugar and I'm going to put one more. So there's two heaping tablespoons of sugar. And when when it's done it's going to come to a peak like when you lift up the mixer you'll see like little peaks almost like if you um, like a drop. Looks like a dropper. Look at that. Watch. You see the peaks on the end of the mixer and look in the bowl. See the peaks right here? See how it's still standing up even though I do that? That's ready. whites which is now called a meringue and we're going to put it right on the top and don't push down flat because you don't want to take the air out you just want to kind of guide it so that it goes all over just keep working your way around And 
show you. That's what we're looking like. See how I'm just putting it there and just kind of guiding it to cover the holes. Okay. That's what we're looking like. So I'm going to put this in the oven on 350 degrees until the moraine looks has a brown color to it. Okay? And I'll show you that. All right. Okay, we'll be back. Uh, I'm guessing that that's going to take about maybe 10, 15 minutes. We'll see. Thanks. Okay, guys. Our banana pudding is out. And I need to give you the word of the day. The word of the day is, so your birthday is coming, right? Think about what you are going to do for you, for your birthday. Not what somebody else is going to do for you, what you are going to do for you. And do it in a big way. My birthday is coming up, and this month, June, and I'm going to think about what I'm going to do for me. And if you would like to do something for me, that would be great as well. Okay, all right, so let's check out our banana pudding. Mmm, looks good. I gotta get a thumbnail. Wow, you guys like that? Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna taste for you. Okay, I'm going to taste, hmm, homemade banana pudding. Okay, got it all. Mmm. Creamy and delicious. Oh, that pudding tastes so good. Mm hmm.
That's for your Memorial Day celebration, just for you. Happy Memorial Day, everyone. Talk to you soon. Love you. Thumbs up, please. Thumbs up. Share the video. Everybody wants to know how to make banana pudding. Thank you.